Well, let's get started. Um, so what we want to do is we want to take this virtual machine and migrate it from this Proxmox over to this second Proxmox. And normally, if you have everything set up properly in a cluster like this, you just right click on it, click on migrate, select the new machine you want to go to and click migrate. And boom, uh oh, there's an error. So if you look at this, it says can't migrate local disk without local disk option. So basically what it's saying is it can't do it. So your migration fails. And then, but you want to have a live machine. You don't want to take it down. So let me just show you that this guy is up and running. So 208 is the test live migration machine. So you'll see here that's ping, pinging it. It's it's still up and running. Um, so this is actually a terminal of it. Um, if config, and that will show you. So you see right here that that is the 208 IP address somewhere in here. Boom, 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 boom. It is in there somewhere. Oh, so yep, right there which is the IP address that I'm pinging over here. Now, you can do the live migration. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is type in this command right here. So normally when you do a migration, and we'll do this without the uh, part on here. When I hit that there, it's gonna give me that same error. But, so this 106, by the way, so let's break this down for just a second here. When you look at that, QM is a, is a QMU agent, migrate is what we did. 106, if you notice, that's the number of the machine that's running up here in PV1. PV2 is where we're wanting to go to, and the dash dash online means you want to keep this guy alive are running at the same time. Now, it failed earlier. If, if you add this dash dash with local disk, it'll this migration will work properly. So let's go ahead and get that started here. And, uh oh, can't migrate VM check log. Local CD-ROM image. Okay, so there's something else we need to change first here. So when I go with this guy and I go to hardware and I go to CD-ROM, see I still have the live CD in there. Let's go ahead and edit that guy and just um, do not use any media. And hit OK on it. Now, I'll go back here. Let me get my ping up here too. So you can see this guy is still pinging. And I fixed that error. And now we'll do the live migration. And here we go. She's starting. And we'll also look down here in the console portion of uh, Proxmox. So you can see this and you can double click here. And you get a little bit more friendly output. You can see that it's migrating that one disk. It's six, seven, six percent done, or almost seven percent now. So this will take a little bit. We'll just watch that. Let go. Let that go, and uh, everything will be great. We'll just uh, let the video process. All right, 100% finished. See how it says finished right here? We can go to status, it'll say okay. If you notice up here in PV1, you no longer see the 106. So if we 
close that guy up and go on to PV2, you do see that 106 in here. And you may also notice that the ping continued the entire time. And that's how you migrate uh, a live machine in uh, Proxmox. It's a pretty simple process. When you have two, two node cluster, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, just give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications. If you want to hire us for a project, head over to GetMeTheGeek.com where we offer business IT solutions. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.